In this video, we're going to take you through the digital banking app Revolut. We're going to take you through a full beginner's guide showing you how to add money, transfer, exchange and add foreign money accounts, how to invest in the likes of crypto and stocks, and then how to save your money with their vaults. And there'll be a timeline in the summary below for those of you who just want to jump to specific parts of this tutorial. For more information on Revolut, please check out everybethelps.io. First up, a little bit about Revolut. Revolut is a digital-only banking app with a prepaid MasterCard, allowing users to manage their money and track expenses from their mobile. Revolut differs from traditional high street banks due to its low fees and flexibility. Usually with standard high street banks, if you're using your card whilst you're travelling, you'll come home to a whole bunch of mini charges on your card for currency exchanges. But with Revolut, you can exchange money at the real market rate and you can also do this commission free. Revolut launched in 2015 and are based out of the UK. Although you won't find a physical branch on the high street that you can go into, they do have 24 by 7 customer services available. And they now have over 20 million customers across 200 supported countries and regions, with transactions totaling over £100 billion. Revolut's aim is for their users to be able to manage their financial life from a single app, from everyday spending and budgeting to foreign currency exchange and easy access stock trading, so that you can get more out of your money. Revolut banking apps come in four different plans across Europe and three different plans in the US. First, there's the free version, which is their standard plan, which most users, including me, will find sufficient enough for their needs. Offering free free money withdrawals up to £200 per month, up to 0.75% daily interest on savings, £1,000 in currency exchanges with no fees Monday to Friday, and some cashback offers as well. Spending on your card is unlimited, so if you do find that you're reaching some of these withdrawal limits, simply choose to tap your card instead, as when withdrawing over your limit, you will be charged a 2% fee. You then have options to upgrade your card to a plus, premium or metal card, which will increase your cash withdrawal limits, it'll provide you with some free card delivery options, increased daily interest rates, insurance options and travel benefits. Revolut also have a business account platform which is called Revolut for Business and that can be used for domestic and international payments. We won't be covering Revolut for Business today but one thing I do know is that they can be quite particular, declining a lot of people especially if you are the likes of a freelancer and unfortunately once you are denied you won't be allowed to try again. Now there have been several questions into if your money is safe with Revolut. However, by law and under FCA regulation your money is protected by regulated banks. They'll also flag suspicious activity and ask for extra verification to protect you. Plus, if you do happen to lose your card, you can personally freeze or unfreeze your card, which I'm going to show you during the walkthrough. So let's jump in and take a look. If you haven't already signed up for Revolut, I will have a link in the summary that will get you a £10 top-up when you complete KYC, top up your card and make a payment of more than a pound. Then you'll just need to confirm your mobile number and download the app from Google Play or the App Store. The sign up to Revolut will depend on your location, but the steps will be shown on screen and are quite self explanatory. You'll be required to provide personal information, tax information for compliance reasons, a selfie, and to verify your identity by taking a photo of a physical identity document. The list of supported documents for your region will appear on your screen. Now when you set up your account, one of the first things you'll need to do is add some money into it. So let's take a look at how to add money. Now automatically it's chosen for me to top up with £10 by easy bank transfer. But if we choose to change, there's a few methods to top up your account, which include getting paid your salary into Revolut. There's a regular bank transfer, so you can transfer money to your account using the sort code and the account details shown under local or for cross-border or international transfers, you can choose SWIFT, which will then show your IBAN and your BIC for sending your funds across to. You can also add money via a debit card in your name by entering in your 16-digit card details, your expiry date and your CVV number. Alternatively, you can also use the blue camera icon and this will automatically scan all your details for you. 
Plus, you can also set up Apple Pay or Google Pay on supported devices and top up various amounts using this method. Then once you've added your money or your funds, it's important to secure your Revolut app which you can do under your profile icon in the top left-hand corner of your screen that looks a bit like a head and shoulders. In here is where you can view your account details. You can check your personal details, such as your name, address and phone number. Plus, you can set up security and privacy from here too. Performing actions such as changing your passcode, trusted merchants, setting up permissions, checking devices, and you can block gambling and enable signing in with your Face ID, etc. Next, let's take a look at sending or transferring money with Revolut by pressing on to transfer. Then choose the blue new button in the top right hand corner. And there are several ways to transfer money. These can be sent to a bank or a card recipient, a crypto wallet if you want to send crypto externally, to a group to settle expenses with friends or you can send to a contact. With a bank recipient, you'll first need to choose whether or not you're sending to an individual or a business by choosing from the top of the screen. Then enter the required information from country, currency, and then depending on your choices, either the sort code and account number or IBAN details. And you then select the recipient, enter in the amount that you'd like to send and any reference number or detail that you want to use. And it'll let you know how long that process will take. To set up a new card recipient, it'll let you know the available destinations then you can either transfer funds to a card in your name or someone else's by choosing the tabs at the top of the screen. Then enter in the card details, or again, you can automatically scan these card details. Plus, as I said, you can also now transfer to a crypto address. Previously, this feature was restricted, and you could only hold crypto in your Revolut wallet. However, you can now send this externally to a wallet where you're going to have access to your private keys to have full control of your crypto or you could possibly send it across to a crypto platform like an exchange. And you can copy and paste the crypto deposit address into here, or you can scan a QR code. There's then the option to set up groups by using lists of your contacts. And you can also create contacts by adding them in by name, email address, or phone number. Now heading back to our accounts. As I said at the beginning, exchanging your currency is incredibly easy between accounts too. To exchange your money with Revolut, press onto the icon with three dots beside Transfer. Then choose Exchange. You'll then reach the Sell page. From here, you can see the current conversion rate for the currency that you've selected from the list. When I press onto the drop down beside GBP now, as you can see, there's a whole host of currencies that you can choose from the list. This includes not only traditional currencies such as US dollars, Australian dollars, Euros, or GBP but you can also choose cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. If I just want to swap from GBP to US dollars in this example, I'll enter in the amount that I want to exchange from, and the amount that I will then receive will appear below in dollars. To exchange, you simply choose the blue button, confirming what you're exchanging from and to. And you can also reverse this quite easily too, by clicking on the down arrow between the two currencies. And your newly exchanged funds will then appear in your account. Now, one thing to be aware of is that if you make a currency exchange during the weekend, you will be charged something called a markup. That's because the interbank rate is always fluctuating and may not be the same on a Monday as it was on the previous Friday. And the markup rate is 0.5% on all currencies. Also, just keep in mind that card payments, ATM withdrawals and money transfers abroad will all imply a currency exchange. Therefore, the weekend markup applies to all of these cases. And if you don't fancy paying these charges, you can always exchange in advance, i.e. on a weekday, and that way you're going to save yourself some money. If you need to generate statements from your accounts, you can choose statements from the three dots. Then choose the date range and whether or not you want to receive this in PDF format or Excel. There's also further ways to view your account details and quick links to exchange and create statements. Or you can also add new accounts from here too, so that you can receive funds from different national currencies. If you want to switch between the different types of accounts or currencies, you can press on to the drop down here. And then view the information with regards to this specific account, as I've now done with my USD account. 
and then euros. And underneath you'll have a list of all your transactions. Then you'll see where you can receive cash back into your account with your favourite brands with their rewards. You can check out some analytics, helping you to track your money, which you can view by category, merchant or country. Plus check out your net worth displaying cash balances. You can put money into a vault and create savings or invest with stocks, crypto, commodities, etc. Now moving away from accounts, we're going to take a look at the cards tab next at the top of the screen. Under cards is where you can manage your physical card and you can also create virtual cards, which can be used as single or multiple use to protect you against online card fraud. So with these types of disposable virtual cards, details are automatically cleared after every online transaction and new card details are instantly generated within your app too. For your physical cards, a feature that I've personally used is the ability to either freeze or unfreeze your card. So that if you think you've either lost or misplaced your card, you can click on to freeze your card instantly within your app without having to contact your bank at all. Then if you happen to find it again, you can simply just unfreeze your card from within the app. Now if you do find that you do need to get a new card, you can also order one from here too, by clicking onto the blue plus icon. Whether or not that be a physical debit or a virtual one. However, just be aware here that you will have to pay for a physical card if you happen to lose it. Next, we're going to look at stocks, where you can get started with as little as a dollar. And there's a range of stock options available, including popular shares such as American Airlines and Apple, etc. If you don't already have access to stocks, it is something that you will have to apply for by choosing to get started. Then you'll need to go ahead and accept their terms and conditions. Enter in your personal details and confirm that you're not from the US and you may be prompted to add in your tax information, income, investment goals, etc. Now applying for stocks can take up to 48 hours until you get approval. And if you want to buy a particular stock, you can just choose to buy and go ahead with your purchase. Then we have crypto. So you can invest in popular cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum or Polkadot or XRP directly from within your app without first having to send your funds to the likes of an exchange. Plus you can set up price alerts, track prices, plus you can view stats and information about each crypto. You can also check out today's top movers, some of the most traded crypto and check out their collections of cryptos. If you want to buy the likes of Bitcoin, you can choose to buy, then choose the currency that you would like to pay with, and how much obviously you'd like to spend. However, this isn't a way we would personally recommend buying crypto, as you're not necessarily getting the best rates, plus you're going to be charging some fees in here too. And there are more advanced order types that you can choose, such as limit orders with Revolut too, helping you to buy when the price is lower, or sell when the price is higher than the current market price. But as I said, there will be cheaper ways to buy your crypto. For example, when you're using an exchange, such as Binance, they're going to charge you 0.1% fee for exchanging, rather than the 2.5% fee with Revolut. However, it is incredibly convenient to exchange right within the app. Now, whilst we're on the topic, if you are a crypto investor, you might also find that Revolut is also a crypto-friendly account when it comes to transferring fiat or traditional currencies or funds to an exchange. And if you want to find out more about crypto-friendly banks in the UK, then you can check out our post. Now, the last tab is Vaults, which is a way that you can set up a savings account. There's a few different ways that you can create a vault. First, there's a savings vault, earning you 0.75% interest a year with a standard plan, or increased rates with their premium, plus or metal plans. Plus there's also personal vaults, which can round up payments and stash any spare change for you. The way this works is that with every purchase that you make, say for example you buy a coffee for £1.60, it will round up to the nearest pound, and then save the 40 pence into your vault. And you're then able to withdraw this back into your main account at any time. Personally I feel these vaults are the equivalent of finding £10 in your jeans. You tend to forget about them and didn't even realise you're saving. And this is a pretty good savings hack. Now with each Revolut plan, there are limits, for example, in terms of your free withdrawals or your currency exchanges. So I just want to show you where you can keep on top of this. Under your profile, if you then choose plan, 
Here you can see that I've got the basic standard plan. When I press onto that, it will show me here the amount of ATM withdrawals that I've used or the value, the number of commission-free trades, and also the amount that I'm allowed to exchange. If you find these aren't enough for you, you can obviously upgrade to either Metal, Premium and Plus, which will give you bonus extras such as no fee currency exchanges, increased ATM withdrawals, and commission-free stock trading purchase protection and event ticket protection. And these will obviously come with their own pricing plans. But that completes our overview of the Revolut banking app. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to our website at everybithelps.io for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.